Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Shave of the Day. What will the implements of destruction be? Stay tuned to find out. Shazam. Now that we got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. For those that don't know me, my name is Matt Weaver, also known as Captain Marvel, your friendly neighborhood appliance repairman, and I'm coming to you live in a Technicolor from my shave den, tape delayed on the West Coast. So, what are the implements of destruction going to be? Most importantly, what's the shave ridge going to be? Let's get right into it. Razor, my new favorite razor. And it's right here. It is a J.R. Torrey and Company. And you can't see it real well on there, but somewhere etched on that blade, it says hour 136. Um, it is a 5 8 barber notch, made in the good old USA. Brush, right here, Ever Ready C40. Soap. I don't know what the hell a soap is. <laughs> Thanks to Mike Coakley up in Chicago. We got a little bunch of samples here. He so generously piffed me. Uh, this is the Chicago Meetup soap, a sample of it. The Tamanu Noir, I think. Three samples of PAA aftershaves. I don't know what's what here, so. I'm sure they're all good. And then this one right here it is the Vergold Hand, which means the Gilded Hand. And it's uh, a Danish soap, I believe. Classic, classic soap scent. Um, I've seen people um, compare the performance to Arco. So we'll save that one for a future date. As well as the Tamanu Noir Chicago Meetup Soap. I gotta say, this smells fantastic. I would love, love, love to have this and the matching aftershave. It's got a real fruity smell to it. Uh, the hair, I did my hair today with this little sample of Imperial Classic Pomade. So, looking rather dapper today. Uh, but the soap, the mystery soap, he said he'd tell me what it was once I used it. So I want to use it, is right here. I have pressed the sample into this buffalo horn bowl. It has been blooming. And I am about 99% sure of what this soap is. 1% is the scent. So I take the bloom water and I rub it on my face, use it as a pre-shave. <clears throat> and the shaverage today, can't forget the shaverage, most important part of every shave. It is right here with a couple of cubes in it and it, it is bourbon. And this all was also sent to me by um, Mike Coakley. He said, you can't forget about the shaverage. A little bottle of Nile Creek. So thanks, Mike. Appreciate everything that you sent me. So here's to you, Mike. And here's to the rest of you folks. Ah, ooh, smooth, 100 proof. Yeah. We'll give one good squeeze to my ever ready brush here we'll get to lather or loading anyway all right i said earlier that i was 99 percent sure of what this soap was um 99 sure of the manufacturer not the other one percent is the scent i don't know what the scent is so i know for sure that this is katie bubbles soap the way it came out of the sample and the way it pressed in the mug, it's got that consistency. I know it's Katie Bubbles. Katie's Bubbles. 
the scent I'm not sure about. It's either um, LPV or QCV. It's one of those two. I'm going to say it's QCV, Quattro Cent Vit 420. But I'm not sure. I know it's Katie's Bubbles. Alright, I've loaded the soap up like I could hate it. And we'll use all this here. Beautiful Mrs. Marvel is in the other room right now watching the third season of Orange is the New Black on Netflix right now. So I figured it's a, it's a perfect time for a shave. All right, we're really dry right now, so add a little water. Okay, I'm 100% sure that this is Katie Bubbles' La Piment de la Vie. I've never used it before. But judging by everybody else's descriptions and the fact that this soap I'm smelling here would pair really nicely with British Sterling. Katie's Bubbles LPV, folks. Um, let me know how right I was, Mike.
All right, really nice first pass. We'll rinse off here and we'll lather up for another one. Very nice. Also, I have hanging out here some iced Earl Grey, seasoned, sweetened with a little honey. Ah, that's really good stuff. Today's pre-shave routine. Usual hot towel, <laughs> hot towel, hot shower, uh, although a hot towel would be nice, uh, followed by a Neutrogena invigorating face wash. It's got a little menthol in it, uh, a little cooling effect there. Um, and tunes, I always listen to some tunes in the shower. Today's selection was... Dio from the Holy Diver album.
but we just had a really nice weekend out there. I had to work yesterday, but it uh, wasn't too bad. Didn't get home too late. Uh, today, just hanging out with uh, Mrs. Marvel in the other room. Um, just kind of spending the day together. A little nip of Knob Creek there. All right, there we have it, folks. Shave of the day. Sunday, June something. I don't know, it's 15th, 14th, 15th, or something like that. Hmm, I think that one is the Tamanu Noir. I don't know what the hell that one is. <laughs> Shit, they all smell the same. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they are. So, I'll just go with a... Since it's spicy there, since I'm pretty sure it's LPV, a little Old Spice, but uh, we'll go with the fresh lime variety today. And for that, we'll go with some Soap Commander Balm. Uh, we are running long, as usual, so I won't bore you to death watching me slap on some balm and some aftershave, so we'll get right into a little recap. Implements of Destruction are, or were, J.R. Torrey, 5.8's Barber Notch. Ever ready? C40 Brush. Soap. Don't know. Mystery soap here. I think it's uh, Katie Bubbles LPV. Soap Commander Integrity Balm. Old Spice Fresh Slime Aftershave. Shaveridge. Right here. Knob Creek 100 Proof Small Badge Bourbon. So, with that being said, Matt Weaver, Captain Marvel, your friendly neighborhood appliance repairman, saying... Until next time, America, happy shaving. <laughs>